Are you guys seeing what I'm saying? No, this is a fake. This is legit. Like, you go to my TikTok profile right now and... Somehow, some way, I'm verified on TikTok. Good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face, and you're ready for a brand new video. Wow, that feels good actually saying that. It's been a while since I literally made a vlog. I know, like, I put out like two videos like the last like two weeks. It actually feels good holding this camera vlogging again for you guys. So today, we're gonna be end up talking about why I quit YouTube and where I've been and kind of the reasons why I was just gone in general. But before we do that, let's see what's going on today. Like guys, honestly, it feels so weird to be vlogging again. There's just so much that has happened in my life like that I really wanna fill you guys in on. As you guys all know, we did get swatted. It was a scary situation, it sucked. But there's one thing I do wanna say, just thank you guys all so much for your love and support on that video. The love you left me and my family means the absolute world to us because like that is probably one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me. And I've been through a lot of things as you guys know. But that's probably one of the scariest things. I know, like, the person who ever swatted me that heard that, they just probably got their joys out of that. Like, oh, we did what we wanted to do, but you know what? I got a strong Saxon family. You guys are amazing, and your support does mean a lot to us. And also, TikTok, man, you guys, a lot of you came over from TikTok, so all the new subs, hey, how you doing? Uh, you're now a part of the Saxon family, so welcome. Mom, anything you'd like to say to the Saxon family? Thank you for supporting us during the time of being swatted. I never would want anybody to go through that. It scared the living beep out of me. Um, see, my mom's good. She she knows to bleep herself. But, like, guys, I am actually working on trying to get the body cam footage. I tried getting it. My request got denied due to being under an investigation. But once the investigation is closed, we will have a video of the body cam footage that the police wore when they came to the house. And, I don't know, I think it would be very interesting to see because... I'd like to see from their point of view of everything, like from when they got the call to them coming to my house and all that. I think it'd be very interesting. If you guys want to see that, drop a like on this video and also let me know down below in the comment section. I do have a major issue right now. So the last couple of days, uh, whether it's been the middle of the night trying to respond to a fire call or again up in the morning, uh, I would go out to my car and my car has been dead. Thankfully, I have this little like thing, which actually I'll just show you guys, that can quickly take out of my car and jump start my car. Uh, this little thing, if you guys ever like need something because your battery always dies, I recommend this if you're kind of cheap like me and don't feel like buying a new battery. So today, <laughs> what I'm doing to buy time, because honestly guys, batteries are expensive. They're $100. I don't feel like just dropping $100 on a car battery even though it's something I need. I'm, uh, I'm using this thing here to actually charge my battery to hopefully when I go to start my car, I don't have a dead battery at all. And I know there's gonna be a few people in the comment section just saying, Jeff, how come you just don't go buy a new battery? I'm cheap, okay? Unless somebody comes into the Twitch stream and just drops a bunch of bits or subs, I am probably not gonna buy a new battery right away. But if somebody does happen to do that, thank you, because you guys don't have to do that. Just people coming to the Twitch stream in general and watching it, that means a lot to me. But I do have to say, this does come in kind of clutch, just charging the battery itself, because like, my stepdad's used it on his truck before, and our neighbor's car before, and next thing you know, their batteries work for at least a few more weeks. I honestly don't know what to do today. I haven't vlogged in, like actually vlogged in such a long time. It feels weird being on camera again. Like the last couple days, all I've been doing is just chilling, making TikToks, having fun with that. Um, honestly, like I said before, I don't know how in the world I'm verified. There's other people out there that I think deserve to be verified before even me, like Claw Boss guy's got like 1.3 or 1.5 million followers and isn't verified they denied him and I'm like that actually kind of sucks I feel like that guy deserves it a lot more than me but at the end of the day things like that are out of my control and like I am very thankful that somehow I got verified but I think there's other people that deserve it a lot more than me but now that I'm back to vlogging I do got a general question for you guys and that is what do you guys want to see me do? What do you guys want to see from me? Like, do you guys want me to go back to the wholesome vlogs where it's just me talking, doing whatever's going on in the day? Or do you guys want me to get creative, do dumb things? I don't know. I Like, it feels weird vlogging again. It's just something I haven't done in such a long time. I feel like right now I'm being very repetitive in this video and it's because I'm not used to this. I haven't done it in such a long time and when you don't do something for a long time, you kind of lose that touch that you have with it, you know? By the way, right now would be a great time to say if you guys aren't subbed yet and part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Ah, oh, God, I am awful at this today. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to give away my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, that, there, there's the actual title of this vlog. I'm giving away my YouTube 
YouTube channel because I can't vlog anymore. I just don't know how to do it. All right, guys, you know what? Enough messing around. Let's just go talk about why I had left and quit YouTube a few months ago, and let's just get right into it. Oh, might as well finally do this. So, where have I been the last couple of months? Almost a year. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, there's quite a few reasons why I, I kind of stopped uploading in general here on YouTube. And if you see me looking off to the side, my flip out screen, LCD screen is off to the side. So I want to make sure I'm in frame at all times. But that's a great question. Where have I been? And so there's a few reasons to that. And uh, the first one is I was kind of in a bad contract with a multi-channel network. If you guys don't know, an MCN or a multi-channel network is somebody that kind of takes part of your ad rev and when they take part of it they're supposed to do a bunch of things for you now, unfortunately the last like year the mcn i was with i'm not gonna put them on blast really didn't do much for me and they were literally just collecting 15 percent from every single video so let's like say we put a vlog out gets 20,000 views i might only make 30 dollars from that and that's 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 bad that is really bad. It's like, why am I putting myself out there doing all this work, commanding such a huge audience, and then they take 15% and they don't do anything for me. In a way, I wanted to kind of prevent them making money off of us and off of the content. When I initially signed with this company, they basically gave me all the promises in the world. Like, hey, we'll get you verified on Twitter. We'll get you verified on Instagram. Hey, uh, if you want brand deals, we'll get you a ton of brand deals. In my time there, by the way, they only got me one brand deal and it was, it was a decent amount of money, a couple thousand dollars. But in my time with this company, they basically, whatever I made from that brand deal, they basically already made from my content. And that kind of sucked. And it was a lesson learned, something for any inspiring YouTubers, whatever, don't sign with a multi-channel network, just do straight up Google AdSense. So that is reason number one. Reason number two, um, especially like the last few months since COVID hit in general, I really wasn't feeling very creative. Uh, and this is gonna go out, go out to reason number three, but I also took since March a lot of time to do a lot of self-reflection and do a lot of work on focusing on myself. And with that came me using the gym at my fire department basically every single day and uh, since then, I went from 278 to 251.4. We'll have the screenshot up here on the screen. And it's something that I'm very proud of, um, is that in the last few months uh, since March, I took a lot more time to focus on me instead of focusing on content. And it allowed me to mentally get better and physically get better. I mean, I still got a long road to go, especially with my physical health. I have a goal of that I wanna be 220 pounds by July, so we got eight months to lose another 30 pounds. I'm a lot happier now that I took a lot of time to focus on myself with my mental health and physical health. Like, if I get 220 by July in the next eight months, I will be very happy. It will be a big thing by me. And then from July to January, lose an additional 20 and be 200 pounds. Like, I will be, I'll be more than ecstatic. I'll be like very pumped. Um, but that's another reason why I kind of disappear. I wanted to just focus on myself a lot more. The third and final reason is honestly just this. And I'm very sorry, guys. I just, I was very creatively burnt out. I didn't know what I wanted to do for content. I just couldn't, I couldn't even lift literally, where's one of my old cameras? I couldn't even lift the vlog camera like this in front of my face and start vlogging and be like, hey, good morning, Saxon. Like, I could not physically get myself to do it. Like, I'd pick a camera up, i start vlogging. Next thing you know, it's like, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy trying to make a video. I didn't want to force a video. And I was just so burnt out from making content. Like, I felt bad because 130,000 plus of you guys clicked, subscribed to this channel to watch videos. And it's not fair to you guys that I stopped uploading. And I honestly felt so bad taking so much time off, especially when I try to force content. And when I try to force content, it just it doesn't come good at all. So I've been slowly getting back into the grind. Uh, it started with Twitch streaming, which I absolutely enjoy. Uh, moving now into also making TikToks again. And next step is to getting back into vlogging again and trying to make content that I think you guys will enjoy and you guys will appreciate and stuff that I'll enjoy having fun doing. As much as I would love to be like a Roman Atwood in a way where he can just literally pick up the vlog camera and vlog him and his family and it'll get millions of views, I feel like personally that wouldn't work for me. I, I feel like some days my life is just 
so boring that I won't even know what to vlog anymore. Like you guys saw today, like I kind of had what I was going to talk about, which is this. But I also tried getting into the flow of vlogging again. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know about this. At the end of the day, I just want to make people happy. And that's kind of the goal with my content is, hey, if I could put a smile on your face, I did my, th I did my thing. I hope you guys understand. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, especially if you're happy that I'm back. I honestly miss you guys, and I'm sorry that I was gone for so long. And I honestly hope you guys understand why I really wasn't uploading. At the end of the day, I really just want to make people happy. And if me picking the camera up and just doing whatever will make people happy, then I need to get back into that habit and uh, just putting smiles on people's faces. So... Saxon family, until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. Well, peace.